Many are unaware of the dangers lurking on the internet. Fraud, identity theft and data tampering are the common security issues faced by users. As government agencies increasingly shift their services online, the need to address these issues and provide mechanisms for a safe, time-efficient and cost-efficient online services and assistance to the public also increases. To attain a higher level of security for online transactions, the DICT Cybersecurity Bureau is implementing a Public Key Infrastructure or PKI. It is the key for digital security. It uses state-of-the-art cryptography and digital certificates for digital signing and encryption. These two components are the primary instruments of PKI that ensures identification and authentication of users of applications. PKI uses both public and private keys. One key locks and the other unlocks. Imagine a set of lockers at a public pool. One key, a public key is given to the customer to lock a compartment, to prevent the customer from forgetting to return the key after use, the locker can only be open with a master key. The private key which is held by the owner. The digital keys work hand in hand to ensure digital security. The public key is used to encrypt the file while the private key is used to decrypt it and only the right digital certificate can open the information encrypted with PKI. Digital signing. When a user with a PKI token digitally signs a document or email the intended recipient can be assured that the information within that document was created by the person whom the message was from and that it is safe to open. Encryption. Another feature of PKI is the ability of a user to secure information within a document by encrypting it. The encrypted document cannot be decrypted or altered by anyone without a private key. This means that the information is safe during transmission and storage. Validation. The ability to use the information within the digital certificate for validation services is another important feature of PKI. The digital certificate contains reliable information about the owner's name, birth date, public key and the date of issuance and expiration of the certificate itself. When users avail of government online services, digital certificates play a major role in the application and verification process. The information within the digital certificate can be used to ensure that a transaction is being done by the right person. Traditionally, when transacting with the government one has to physically appear and present a valid ID to confirm one's identity, with online transactions there is no need to go to the government office and present a valid ID. Your PKI is your online valid ID. With citizens being able to transact with the government online. There is no need to go to government offices and spend so much time in long queues saving them time, effort and expenses with these services. PKI enabled the public can now trust online transactions. How to get a digital certificate? Digital certificates are created by a trusted certificate authority. As mandated by law, the Root Certificate Authority will be the Department of Information and Communications Technology. This means, that all digital certificates will come from DICT. The citizens and the government employees, can get their PKI tokens at Certified Registration Authorities or RACE. Initially RACE, as defined by the project will be the four agencies implementing the Unified Multi-Purpose ID or UMID. SSS, GSIS, Full Health and PAG EB, other RACE will be identified later. With PKI. The goals of achieving secured networks and online data exchange will be achieved. 